Hey, today on Cloud Renegade, we are going to talk about the new noise suppression with Microsoft Teams and the Jobber Evolve 65Ts. So Microsoft announced that they were going to bring background noise suppression into Microsoft Teams. Um, they announced this back uh, few times over the past few months, uh, most notably back at Microsoft Ignite in September. It's finally here. We'll show you how to turn that on here in just a minute within your, uh, within your settings uh, on your Teams client. But first, what I wanted to do uh, was talk about noise suppression in the Jobber Evolve 65Ts. I really like these earbuds. I love them, in fact. Actually, they're really comfortable to wear. I'm not normally an earbud person. I've never developed a taste for it. I usually wear the over-the-ear um, headsets or something like that. But the, the Jabra Evolve 65Ts, they fit really well. They're tiny. They give long battery life. Um, they were very much my uh, to go go to um, headsets when I was traveling a lot. Go figure. Um, but one of the issues that I constantly had with them, and you can actually go back and I'll link to it uh, in this video, um, the previous videos that I had done, is they don't have noise cancellation. And not just talking about the in-ear noise cancellation, but the microphone doesn't have noise cancellation. So anytime I was talking to somebody, all that background noise was coming in. So today I'm really interested to test out and see how the Evolve 65Ts do with the new Microsoft Teams noise suppression see if that's a suitable supplement for a, a headset or a device that might have noise, active noise canceling, not just in the ear cups, but noise canceling in the microphone itself. Um, something to note here before we get started, um, the noise suppression does require AVX2 on your CPU. So that's a newer CPU technology. Uh, it's been within the last few years. A uh, good way to tell if you have it is if you can do background blur uh, or the background images, you most likely have it. I'm not saying that's absolute because I actually have a machine that does not have AVX2 um, and I can do background blurs and stuff like that. Uh, but I know at one point in time the background blur and, and uh, the background images was an AVX2 CPU requirement. Um, but the, the noise suppression is an AVX2 CPU requirement. The other thing that I have noticed in just doing some simple testing up front, and we'll get to the demos here in a second, is that when I use my Surface Laptop 3 with the Jabra Evolves and I have the noise suppression turned up to high, um, I can see that the CPU is working harder and I do hear some audio clipping and things like that. You'll see that here in just a minute. Um, but we're gonna get into this now and show you some demos of the Jobber Evolve 65Ts. Now, also really quickly, these are the Evolve 65Ts. They come with a Bluetooth dongle, uh, which makes them team certified. These are not the Elites. The Elites are not team certified because they don't come with a Bluetooth dongle. Uh, so just a quick note on that. Okay, here's our first test. Um, right now, out of all the three settings, we have auto, high, low, and then off. So technically four settings. I've got the headphones set to uh, the auto setting, and we are going to just bring up some music um, and turn that on. And we'll just let it go in the background and let folks uh, see how, they, how, how it sounds in the background from that standpoint. I usually like to try to turn this up so that it's, right now the music's sitting at about 35, 40 decibels in the background. I'm gonna turn it up and let it get up a little bit higher. Um, this is actually to the point where it's way distracting. So uh, very hard to, to focus uh, if I had something. So this would be way more than what you'd have in the background at like say Starbucks or anything like that. But it's a good way to see what might be coming through. Okay, back for test two. Right now I've uh, increased the noise cancellation um, and noise suppression, I guess, is really what we're calling it, um, up to the high level. So we're going to turn that music back on and it's same level, didn't, didn't adjust it from uh, previous. So let's get after it and let it play back in and see how well this works um, for canceling out the very loud music at this point, uh, sitting probably about 45, 50 decibels, uh, 
kind of went up in the previous video from 35, 40, 45, 50. So almost doubling the volume at this point. Okay, we're back this time with the noise suppression setting set to low. Um, we're going to try this and put the music back on, uh, let it go for a little bit. Um, see, you should be getting some of that background music. Interesting is just kind of see and hear what's going on in the background um, as as we uh, do these recordings and to see how much comes through uh, for the music. So. OK, last uh, iteration here. We have the noise cancellation, noise suppression turned off, and we're going to turn this music back on and let this go. And now you should actually get a lot of it in the background so you can hear really how loud it was uh, as we went through all of the different uh, noise suppression settings. So this is this is uh, just kind of just kept everything. The song still still saying everything's going in the background. All right, there you have it. That was the various tests of noise suppression with the Jabra Evolve 65Ts. Uh, just a couple of things to note about that, and you might have seen and heard in the background um, that you can tell that it takes some CPU power, definitely. I've got the, I tested these today on the brand new AMD Ryzen uh, series CPU, six cores. I got 32 gigs of RAM in this machine, and even I was getting some of that choppiness. Now, it's interesting because I don't see the same thing when I utilize these with my Surface Laptop 3 or with my mobile devices, but these are the devices that I have, so your mileage may vary on that. Um, you can also notice I just did an update on these, um, and I could tell that the headsets were actually doing some sort of noise suppression as well. You can notice it in that very last section uh, with the audio off, or, or the noise suppression set to off, that the, um, that the headsets kicked in a little bit of noise suppression as well. So definitely doing a lot better with these. Um, look forward to being able to use these in a, in a noisier environments, like if I ever take my laptop and if I ever go traveling again uh, and working from a cafe or coffee shop type spot, these could become really, really useful um, in the fact that they're lightweight, they're easy to carry around, they're multifunction between mobile and, and uh, desktops, um, and they are team certified. So this has been very cool to see uh, and makes these even more useful than they were in the past. So thanks for uh, all of us here and hope everybody's doing well and staying healthy. Uh, if you need any other info, uh, you can actually check the links in the uh, description to find your own. Um, if you like this video and you like to see more, please hit like or subscribe. Appreciate it. Bye.